so today I'm going to try out my first like chit chatty get ready with me video essentially not necessarily walking you through the whole process and like talking like every step but like just you know if I have things to say about certain products and stuff today I am going to be trying these Makeup Geek eyeshadows. This is my first ever Makeup Geek um, order that I have placed. My brother got me a couple things for Christmas, but these are my first purchases. I got four eyeshadows, including one of the um, foiled ones. So I figured I would work this into a look today and, you know, give you my thoughts on it, first impressions and whatnot while it's actually happening. Um, hopefully you guys like this. Let me know what you think about it. I know this video is going to be a lot longer than my regular Get Ready With Me's and my tutorials, but, uh, I hope it's worth it, <laughs> I guess. Okay, let's get started. This is from Daiso, by the way. I got asked last time I wore it. I love this thing. It's amazing. It does, uh Perfect, perfect canvas framer. <laughs> Vogue, apparently. This is why I don't do chatty things, because it just gets really uncomfortable for everybody. So I already moisturized my face, so I'm going to be using my CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. This is like my third bottle of this stuff, and I really need to uh, get a new foundation, because besides the fact that this one's almost uh, empty, I just need to try something new. So if you have any drugstore foundation recommendations, Feel free to leave them below. I am looking into the L'Oreal Pro Matte. That's probably my next endeavor. I don't know if any of you guys have ever noticed this, but in like my entire time on YouTube, I have never put foundation on my forehead, or at least all the way up, I always kind of stop like right about here because I always bronze this area anyway so I don't feel the need to like blend foundation all the way up here plus it like gets in your hair and it's just like it's really unnecessary for me but if you've ever noticed my forehead's like slightly darker than the rest of my face because there's never any uh, foundation on it so of course it gets more exposure to the sun because all my foundations what is happening with my lip typically have SPF in them so little fun fact for you there. And also, I don't really wear concealer very often either. I mean, sometimes. Usually when I film videos, I do, but I don't even really feel necessary. I like my skin to still look like skin. Like, any imperfections, I'm not, like, super huge on fixing them. <laughs> Mainly just because, like, I don't, I don't want to look, like, caked up and I don't want to look, like, ridiculously like she's wearing so much, you know? up there anyway so I don't I don't really feel the need <laughs> I also don't put foundation around my eyes like I don't do my eyelids or anywhere around here and I know a lot of people do that so what can I say also I have to say I love Hoola I I mean it's been years and this has always been super popular popular <laughs> popular but I just never tried it and this is freaking fantastic I love this I still love my NYC sunny don't get me wrong but I understand why people love this so much because it is really good and it's so easy. As I've said before, I did a review video with this. It's so foolproof. Like, there's no way you're going to build up too much, like, on first swipe. There's, like, nothing left in here. I really need to try the new formulated blushes. I believe they renamed them the HD blushes. I really need to try those because it's about time. One thing that I have started doing, I want to say it's been like a couple months now, is contouring my nose. But listen, I don't know how <laughs> to contour my nose. So really, it's just been like a, a trial and error experience. <laughs> but you know what? Now that I've started doing it, I can't not do it anymore because then my nose just looks huge to me. Which is silly because before... I never thought that. It didn't seem that way. But now, I mean, it's ridiculous the things that bother you 
it's like the stupidest thing. I don't know. It's ridiculous. And then sometimes I'm like, oh my god, I over conjured it. Like, how do you over conjure something? This chatty get ready with me video was not a good idea. <laughs> it's gonna be like 20 hours long. I'm sorry already. So there's that. Do I feel like wearing blush today? Not really. I guess I should. Mm. This is another thing. I don't really often wear blush either, but every time I put it on, I'm like, wow, like, I look so much better, like, more alive, and yet I still just don't love to wear it. <laughs> no. But I do love this brush. This is the best blush brush ever. I get, again, this is another product that I reviewed in the same video as Hula, actually. This e.l.f. powder, this is, like, my favorite powder because you can use it for anything, including blending things out if necessary. If you feel like you ever overdid something, just, this is fine. This just fixes all your problems. <laughs> Started getting into highlighting too. So I'm using this e.l.f. blush. It's obviously not a blush, but it's in the color Pinktastic. Started using this because of Kathleen Lights, and I love it. Do I know how to highlight either? Nope. <laughs> Why are you guys watching my channel? I don't know. That's all the highlighting I do. Just here, a little bit, teeny bit on the nose, that's it. So I love this NYX Tame and Frame stuff more so than the Anastasia Brow Wit, not Brow Wiz, um, the Dip Brow, which is the br their brow pomade. But my issue is, was, well actually originally with the Dip Brow, I loved it at first, but it's got like so hard and dry that I couldn't get any, so I had to like heat it up like every time I used it. Then I got the NYX one, and I was like, wow, this is a, more of like a gel almost, like a gel cream consistency, so it was like softer and a little bit easier, like more spreadable, I guess you could say. <laughs> Sounds weird. But now that I'm like down to the bottom of my Tame and Frame, it's also like very, very hard and dry. So what you guys don't see behind the scenes is that I usually light a candle not only to like warm this up and soften this up but also to heat my eyelash curler I have super straight lashes even though they're not super short they are incredibly straight and will just stay to be, but it's my favorite Nivea lip balm, I think. And I've tried, I want to say like five or six of them, like almost all of them. But this one, don't let the name like scare you away because I really, really like this one. Okay, so I'm going to start on the eyes. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. So as I mentioned in the beginning, I have these Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I'm going to put them in this e.l.f. quad compact that I have. I knew I had an empty one laying around somewhere and I just found it. It just, it's an empty quad case. It has a mirror on this side and then a little double-sided sponge tip thing in here. shadows that I got, okay, these might fall out. So this gold, not gold, green foiled one is Jester. This one here is Cocoa Bear. This one here is Creme Brulee. And then this top one here is Peach Smoothie. 
So these three are matte, the regular ones, and then the other one is, as I mentioned, a foiled one. So I'm going to go in with this fluffy blending brush and try Peach Smoothie as a transition color. Oh, I already get it. Okay, so a lot of people say this is like a really good transition color for warmer eye looks, and that's pretty much all I ever do. And I get that. I don't know if you guys will even be able to tell. It's supposed to be subtle as it is supposed to be a transition color, but for someone who doesn't have a crease, like transition colors it can be a little bit tricky sometimes, but I like that. That's nice. Creme brulee is typically the type of color that I would go for for transition eye looks, so I'm just gonna go in to that one with the same brush and see what happens. Yeah, so this is usually what I would go for because it is a tad bit darker. But I think I might actually like Peach Smoothie more. I'm someone who uses these more as blending colors, as in I do my lid color and then I do my transition color. But so many makeup artists do this first, so you know what, we're just going to try something new today. Alright, so then I'm going to go in with Jester on the lid. I am so excited. Olive Green is hands down one of my favorite eyeshadow colors ever, apart from gold. Olive green is probably my next favorite, so. Do you guys see? Oh my god, that's so pretty. <laughs> Can you see it? I'll have to zoom you guys in. Holy moly. Look at that. That's so pretty. Wow. Is it possible to be in love with an eyeshadow? How about an eyeshadow formula? Because that is phenomenal. Okay, well I'm obsessed with that now. I'm going to take this brush into Coco Bear, which is seemingly like a warm brownish red color. Not necessarily terracotta. It's got, it looks like it has a good amount of brown in there, but we shall see. loving this combination. This shadow is pretty, but I'm not, I don't think this is the look that I want to go with. All right, we're going to have to build something else off of this. This green isn't as golden as I thought it would be. It almost has kind of like a Tinkerbell kind of vibe. <laughs> At least that's how I feel about it. I love it, but it's just not what I was expecting, necessarily. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with creme brulee. Another thing is, because I have two different shaped eyes, I have to kind of adjust things and like really look at myself and like fix things because my left eye, once I curl my lashes, it gets a double eyelid. <laughs> this one does not. So yeah, I have to kind of figure things out as I go along. Cause sometimes, sometimes this eye is like really hardcore double eyelid. Sometimes it's like, I don't really want to do it today. And it just stays like this. It's really, it's a temperamental eyelid. It's great. Okay, I'm going to bring in my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. This is the original one, which is why it's so bulky. Um, and I'm going to go in, this is like my favorite color in here. I, it's this one right here. I can't remember what the name of it is. I really wish they just put the names on it rather than on that insert that it used to have. But it's like a really beautiful burgundy color. And I have this e.l.f. brush here. shimmery bronzy color in the corner. Another one of my favorites in this palette. Now I can see the blending of the creme brulee and the peach smoothie colors kind of out here and I really like that. Now I understand why they get so much hype. And I'm going to take this matte color. I want to say it's called white chocolate. It's probably the only one that I remember. This matte right here I believe is white chocolate. 
my brow hairs go like straight down. It's so annoying. They just, can you already tell, like if I were to do like that's how they would naturally go. <laughs> can you not? Okay, as always, I don't think I'm going to darken this up anymore. I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to take scotch tape like I do every day. This is why I don't like to do a lot of tutorials because they generally end up all looking the same because I do the same style and the same techniques in every video. <laughs> so that's kind of why I don't really understand why people want tutorials because all of my looks are just slight variations from each other. Okay, and let's clean that up with the matte white. I'm still using this NYX Control Freak brow gel. I don't really care for this one, and it, since it's so big, it's taking me forever to use it up. It just doesn't do what I need it to do, you know? Okay, I'm gonna take my Milani eyeliner. Love this, this is my favorite. pencil eyeliner. They they do eyeliner very well, I have to say. Okay, let's start with Coco Bear on the lower lash line. Let's see how this looks. Okay, then I'm going to go back in with Jester, and I think I'm just going to bring that all along there. using the CoverGirl Supersizer Mascara. This mascara I tried because Emily Noel 83 loves it. It was like her number one um, eye product for the Emily Awards this year. However, I, okay, what she said about it, she loves the formula and she likes the brush. I hate the wand. Now, I don't know if there's, maybe mine was faulty. I, I highly doubt it though, but I get so much product on the wand, like way too much that there, you can't really get to the actual bristles on the wand, like it's just clumped mascara on here. So I have to be very careful with how I apply it. I do like the formula though, it definitely holds a curl, I like it a lot, but like maybe they didn't put a stopper in here or just not like a, a big enough one to wipe off the excess mascara, but there's so much on here, like it's so unnecessary, and it's been like that since I first got it too. So I don't know how I feel about this. I think I would rather just go back to um, the regular Lash Blast, just because, again, the formula is great, but the wand, just, no, I don't, no, 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 no. Do you guys ever have that issue of like one eyelash that refuses to like join the rest of your eyelashes in the uh, eyelash curler? It's so it's just like sticking down straight, like while the rest of yours are curled, it's like, not today, Satan, there is one that I just can see. It's just like, nope. Also, do you guys have one eye that curls better than the other? Like, my left eye is just my better eye because it does have a double eyelid on most days. <laughs> and um, the eyelashes curl better. They stay up more because of the double eyelid. If you have hooded lids or mono lids, your skin can very often push your eyelashes down. Like, can you guys see from here? 
to here, do you see that it's skin? It just pushes on. That's why Asian lids are so hard to work with sometimes. Like my eyeliner, it looks thick here, but you can't even see it. <laughs> also, the sun is setting, so this lighting is gonna get real funky, real quick. is that it's so flexible. Do you guys see that? Like, that's not what I want from a mascara wand. Sorry guys, my battery was about to die, so I had to at least charge it up a little bit so I could finish up this video, but I ended up putting on some of these, um, the CVS brand Makeup Academy, I got some lashes from there and these are the ones that I'm wearing right now. And then I'm going to just um, tie a line real quick here with again the Milani eyeliner. And then my eyes are done. Okay, so to finish off, I'm going to do lips. I'm going to be using this Beauty For Real lip liner. This just came in a boxy charm, but I love this color. I'm obsessed with this. This is, of course, the Kat Von D uh, Lolita Liquid Lipstick. I love this so much. As I've said in my haul video, it can be drying after the fact, but on lips, I don't feel that it's drying. I actually, I think it's fairly comfortable for a liquid lipstick anyway, so. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Here, let me see if I can zoom you in. Do you see how this one is double and this one is not? And do you see how uneven my eyes are? <laughs> Daily struggles, my friends. Daily struggles. So that is the completed look. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know how this chatty get ready with me was for you guys. I know it's going to be so long and weird, but you know. Let me know if you guys want me to do this again or never again. I'm, I'm okay with that too. Either way, thank you for watching again. <laughs> Bye.